can't take this insult anymore. What? Is it not you who is insulting me? Is it not you who is insulting me? Let those wicked fingers of yours not touch me. Oh. Who's talking about fingers? What about Rose, your sister? That one that has short fingers like on that developed banana. Keep my sister out of it. Why should I? Why should I keep her out of it? Why should I? In fact, I think you are mad. You are very mad not to realize and appreciate the very good things that my brother has done for you in this life. So bring you up to the standard that you are now. Mm. Look at who is talking. Has your brother Stevie made himself? Not oh. talking about making somebody else. No. Eh? I don't blame you. How would you talk like this now? Who were you before? What were you? Did you even have a house? Yeah, this, this you are this I married you. My brother, now you. Did you even have a house on you? Go down. Go down from this car. Go down. Which, which car? Get out of this car. I am not getting out of this car. There's nothing you can do. That's not what I can do. Yes. Me, Mensa. I've got a raving toothless bulldog. Keep driving and let's get home, dog. You're an idiot. You are a monkey. You are a monkey. You are a monkey. You are a raving toothless bulldog. If you are my father again, I will kill you this place now. Don't talk to my father again. You. Me, what are you? I'm not What are you? You ask me what I can do? What I like, my friend. You ask me what I can do? You ask me what I can do? Try this car. You ask me what I can do? I said try this car carefully. Okay, I'll show you what I can do. I want to get them working. I'll show you what I can do. You can't do anything. You're just a parking dog without fight. You hear me? Me, parking dog. Without fight, yes. Now get out. Get out. Me. Get out. Now get out. What's the meaning of this man? I said get out of this car. I will not get out of any car. I am going What's to bundle you out of this car. Bundle who? Me, eh? Touch me, let me see. Just touch me. What is this now? Now get out. Leave me alone. I said get out. Leave me alone. I am going to remove you. Leave, leave me alone. She respect me.
So how are you? Um, she will return later. I can't really say, but uh, she may return later. Dad, I heard there was no fighting in the room. Fighting? I don't think so. She may go back to your books. I'm in my room. Of your former girlfriend. Is that a, a guess, an accusation, or a joke? I, I last saw the Vecina six years ago, and that was before we got married. So, what do you mean? Of all names for you to think of, the Vecina that comes to your mind, yeah? I guess that is the Vecina you saw. If it's a joke, stop it now. Stop what? I said, stop it! You, yeah, right. Stop it, will you? Stop what? Why is it that each time I mention velvet, now you react like a wild beast? Who is a wild beast? Oh. Your mother has started to give right? Is this the word wild beast that is offending you? Or what? What is upsetting your good marriage? Your mother has started. Hey, just leave me alone. Don't come near me. I said, don't come near me. Don't come near me. Shut up. 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 What about you? I'll be waiting. Hey, Long, could you please come with us? I want to give my phone number. Tell them I'm coming. When Papa and Mama took the home into Boston. 
pain Children are there to see You feel all you do But it's a beat Dad, why didn't you come for us? I'm sorry, your mom confused me Every day your mom confused me Oh no, darling Oh, please I promise I'll make it up to you Dad, every day you always remember to pick us from 6 p.m. When do we do our, um, our homework? What about food for us? Look, Jerry, it's okay, Jerry. Look, both of you, I'm sorry, it's all your mother's fault. But I promise it won't happen again, right? Mm -hmm. Please. This is the of the children. We are angry and crying. We need to Not a home with fighting and quarreling, endless sense of pride. All we have been for is peace and harmony. Yeah, yeah, when Papa is all peace and manners, oh my God! The children in the house up there, see and copy you. If you do that, they're there to see. If you do do, they're there to see. Hello. Hello. Hey, can I speak with Mr. Manson? Mesa here. Who is it? Have you gone down for your daughter Rita in the school? But, but hold on a minute, please. Laura. Laura. Oh, so you're back. Is not back from school? You mean you did not go back from school? Oh my god. 8 p.m. What up? That was our agreement. Hey, thanks for the information. You meant that you agreed that you would help to bring her back from school today. Oh, now you call me useless for what is our agreement? Who is he? Is he not 
Who is this? 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 Who is this
Hello. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. What can I do for you? Yes, I'm here in school with the man. Oh, the girl who fell from the hand. No, sir. She did not fall from any hand. She was hit by her hand and she went inside. I think the man asked me where I called the house last night. Are you sure? Because that's not the history I was giving. Anyway, come on now. Never to be like mom and dad. Mom and dad, call him a crooked man. You are a crooked man. No, if you are a man, if you are a man, come and enter this circle. I mean, if you have what it takes to be a man, enter. You I mean, are looking for somebody to kill you. Oh, go oh, and find who will kill you. Enter here. Okay. Enter here. I will enter here. Man. Let me see what is happening here. Let me see what is happening here. Stop today. First, it was my father that fell to the ground. Now it's my daughter. God help me. Laura. Laura. Have I ever loved her? Of course, yes. I can't really know why the hatred, quarrels, and fighting. God help me. Alone in the hospital? Oh. And you? What are you doing here? Or oh, you think it's out of order for a father to go and visit his daughter in the hospital and stay with her, especially one who inflicted such injuries upon the poor child? I can see it's not Oh, and you are the one that loved her, right? You are the one that loved her. Yes, indeed. If you loved her so much, why did you lie to the doctor about what happened? And let me warn you. If you don't quickly go and tell the doctor the truth, I'm going to do that myself. You're a witch. I said you are a witch. Your mother is a witch. Your mother is a witch. Isn't she the one who killed your father? At least you told me so, or you think I don't remember. And what about Rose, your sister? who has been barren now for nine years. It's not for her wickedness and her many, many things. Why hasn't she been able to have a child up till now? You should thank me, you know. If not for the good luck that runs in my family that I have brought into your family to make it full shine, what would you do? No, not enough. That's enough. What? Oh, 
Kolom első. Ventures just called, Honorable Chief Doctor Yoha Davis, and is asking for a time to by appointment fee. Sir, what should I tell him when it's called? Now look here, Doris. Don't you ever try to disturb my peace. Because you women are the same. Woe to men. Now will you get out of here?
Dona Mesa! Você está lá? Bora! Bora! I'm fine, thank you. It's my mama. Mama is very sick and she's getting worse. Yeah. Why don't you take her to the hospital now? Uh, you know, she uses brother's personal doctor and he's the one that will take her there. Yeah. And while she's in the hospital there, who is supposed to be taking care of her? You are there now to take care of her now. Me? Yes. Me? Yes. I beg you, excuse me. Sister Laura? Yes? Mama is here, she's sick, and you're not saying anything to her. Oh, okay. Mama, welcome. Sorry, but take her to Rose, your sister, yes? She's not saying anything. Take her to Rose, your sister. Sister? Me, I'm taking her inside. I'm you. Her. Oh, take her to Rose, your sister. I'm taking her inside. You take care of her. Mama, sorry. Mm. I said I want to talk to you. I'm listening. I'm suggesting eh, that your mother be taken to one of your sister's house for her caretaking. Why? Because Rita is unconscious. And she's still... Rita is not unconscious. I am just coming from the hospital. My daughter is just doing fine. Class for yourself. Why didn't you allow me to finish what I was saying? What I am saying, eh, is that Rita is still lying critically ill at the hospital. And Listen to me, and uh, your mama is not going to stay in this house. Neither is she going to see her family doctor. Period. Am I talking to the wall? Yeah. Okay, don't worry. I know what I'm going to do. You have to get up with You have to try and wear your clothes. You are going somewhere. Fine, get up. Fine, get up. Try, you. Try. Don't worry, my doctor is coming to see you. You can't be serious. You can't be serious because I'm taking her to one of your sisters now. Yes, mama. Put your hand inside this clothes. I don't know why I come. What is this now? Ah! You slap me? Yes! And you do it! You don't start it again! You don't start it again! Forever. 
really a bad deal. But I will need to consider your proposal. Um, so how long will I have to wait for a reply? I'll call you very soon. <laughs> See, I'll be, I'll really be very glad if my, um, my application is considered. I know. We'll take a toast in advance. Yeah. I read in the paper how women have been killed mysteriously in Ghana. Oh, come on, does it not mysterious? The female parts are cut off. So, what is mysterious about that? To me, it is mysterious and I insist on that. Oh, come on, Dolly, what do you know? What do you understand by missing female parts? Underline the word missing. Look, those, those parts were just basically cut off. Oh, don't make it look like they disappeared into thin air. Ray, you standing there can never convince me. Listen, I read English in the university, and if there's anything I'm good at, it is my treasure friend. Is that why you're shouting? Don't try correcting my English, okay? Can we go? Confession to make. Are you having an affair? No. You see, for so long, basically all my life, I have been searching. Searching for qualities that make a perfect woman. Nobody is perfect, Ray. No, that's what I thought. But I found them. I found those qualities in you. Your smile, your your grace, your humility. I mean, your whole person, you just bring out everything that I've been looking for. Sorry. What do you need all those qualities for? For the ultimate. To perfect God's mission. Mm -hmm. The reason that He let me leave my father and my mother. The reason that. Hey, do you know what you're saying? We can make a happy home together. Oh my God. <laughs> Will you be my bride? Yes, yes. Yes. Let me just warn you. 
you will only have yourself to blame. Because you know what? I too can play this game. Woman, is that a threat, a warning or an order? And Papa has always beaten Mama in the home every day. Oh, the children in the house up there to see and copy you. If, if you, you do, do that, they're there to see. Come, Papa. Come, Papa. Come, Papa. Have you ever been in love? Well... I love you, Father. So what do you think about me? Uncle, oh, please. Come on, I just want to know. remain in the mother. Who ate it? How can you say a thing like that, Mama Elisa? Don't you have children? Mensa, Ray, mm -hmm. Elisa and Rose, all are your children living with you. Enough of that nonsense! Enough. 
You are not mentioning my children. Anita. Mm -hmm. Instead of telling me you ate the fufu. Me? Yes. Eat your fufu. You always eat it. May God forgive you. Forgive you. Forgive you. Forgive you. Forgive you. your hand in marriage. Hmm? Just like that? Oh, well, I consider it necessary to get straight to the point because I believe um, there's no need beating around the bush when your heart is boiling over with love. <laughs> no, I mean one cannot conceal love, you just have to let it go. Yeah, yeah. that is noted. So, how long am I going to wait? For as long as it takes. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You see, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> out of your room this morning. Is anything the matter? No, Mom. So, how are you today? Rita! What is it? Oh, yeah, and that's about the fighting. Your father when he gets back. Well, you must tell me. He has to say more than anything I mean when daddy fights him. My friends in school make fun of me. He just has to in other homes. It's okay. It's okay. It was not always like this. Your father and I were so happy with each other. We were so in love with each other. Even I could not think about anything else all day but... 
I don't know. Oh, I don't know, Rita. But I promise I will make up with him, okay? I promise, okay? Thank you. That's my girl. Come. Mm.
Uh, who is the girl? Uh, her name is Rosalyn. She's a circus trade with an oil company and she's from a five Wow. Well, um, mm. Does she love you more than you love her? Because if you love her more than she loves you, <laughs> then be ready for trouble. <laughs> anyway, I have thought about it and I, I have decided on her. I've even introduced her to Mama, to Eliza. Oh, you've done that already? So in fact, we came to the house. We were not there. But I hope to bring her back to the house this, this evening. Okay. And then, um, well, there's one more thing. I want to return to be part of the bridal train. Oh. Okay. I'll be away. I don't have to think about it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, women. Some women. Are like chameleon, very good chameleon. They can change. You just want to get them, and then they show you what they really are. So you be careful. I'll be careful. You can count on me on whatever support you want. Who are they? The enemies. Vampires. Just okay. I'm going to see them. No, 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 don't see them. They're angry, no. Don't worry. Go and save the hands, okay? Okay. Please, just your hands. Let me see them. Okay. Yeah, I know. 
I believe you have a problem. You need help. So what's your problem? It's a very long story, Auntie. I have this phobia for marriage because of things that I have seen. My parents were like two great enemies living together. There was no peace in the house. It was always tensed up. And then my brother meant I don't marry them. It was worse. It was always fight, fight, fight. They fought on the streets, they fought in the marketplace, they fought on the highways. It was just too terrible. I thought I could be more cautious than they were. So, any girl that I was engaged to, and we as much as got into an argument, and she raised her voice. I just quietly withdraw because I saw it as a warning signal. And that's how I came about all those girls. Well, that is normal for an unbeliever. Jesus is the author of peace. And the Bible declares that he is the Prince of Peace. In Romans, Romans chapter 5, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, it takes a sinner to be reconciled with God if he must have peace. Without Jesus, the family, office, name it anywhere, there can never be peace but Christ is. So you went about peace your own way and you ended up in frustration. All you need is the peace of Christ. I agree with you. Uh, I think I need that peace of Christ in my life. Very good. In Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves, servants to obey, his servant ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death, or of obedience unto righteousness. Two masters. One is of sin unto death, and the other one is 
unto obedience, of obedience unto righteousness. So it depends on you to make a choice. So which one do you want to reveal yourself to? To you. obedience unto righteousness. Very good. Then go on your knees. Close your eyes, talk to God. Tell him you are a sinner. Ask him to forgive all your sins. Ask him to push you. Ask him to cleanse you. Father, I thank you because the songwriter says, when a sinner comes as he is, he must have peace. Father, we thank you because your presence alone brings peace in the life of the sinner. How do you feel? Just talk about how I feel. Do you care? But what do you in in intend to achieve by this? Peace. Peace. Confidence. Courage. Good sense of belonging. This is the voice of the children. We are angry and crying. We need to Yeah, I'm 
Just start a bread. Don't finish all this bread, though. I will not find it funny. You know where? Come on, get oh, out, get out, get out. 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 Oh, Rita, how are you? Oh, come on, why is your face like this? Oh, come on. I know that I have hurt you, right? And I know that you are disappointed in me because of my marriage with being hold anyway. But I'm sorry, okay? You see, I have found peace with myself. How? Where? Oh, in Christ Jesus. You see, my Bible now is my closest companion now. Can I have one? Sure, why not? What about having three? 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 Okay, I'll have to bring them for you later. Hmm? But that means you have forgiven me. How will I know you have forgiven me? How about your daddy? He's fine. And your mom? He's fine. Alright, you have to greet them for me. I can't come in now. I'm going for a prayer meeting, okay? I'll see you. Take care of yourself. Huh? I'll bring your Bible later. You have forgiven me. Bye bye. Poverty that runs in your family. Look at you. It is this your wickedness that made your own daughter to lock you up. So that you can apologize to me and change your way. Don't want to let me hear one. You're not talking of your own wicked life. It's me that you're doing now. Did I ever fight you when you got married? Did I? Is it not your attitude that has Change things now, uh, and, and, and turn me to a wrestler. Because I used to tolerate you then, Abby. Huh? <laughs> tolerate? Tolerate, indeed. You couldn't keep your hands off me. Because your husband loves you, it's not a crime. He loves her. He loves her. Love for love. What have you ever done for me to prove your love? Hmm? Well, I'm
I have a letter from Mr. Men. Can I have it? No, I want to see him in person. I'm his daughter. I can collect it. No, I want to see him in person. He's lying. Okay. You can try and collect it. The Bible. It's not the Bible says that that means Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
my daughter. Hey, don't stop my family. Don't stop my family. 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 Daddy, you meant that the kids are angry. Mommy, you meant that the kids are angry. I am angry. Will you come back here, you little brat? What do you know about anger? Oh, that's what I'll never see. You mean they intended to lock us in here? Other ways. Uncle told me about the Bible. I'm giving the Bible to them. See, I hope it works. I hope it works. I hope it works.
When Papa is always beating Mama in the home every day, the children in the house up there to see and copy you. If you do that, they are there to see. If you do good, they are there to see. They are the leaders of tomorrow, so be careful what you do. This is the voice of the children. We are angry, crying. We need freedom, We can look up to not a home with fighting and quarreling and no sense of pride. Are we asking for the peace and harmony? This is the voice of the children. We are angry and crying. We need to understand this thing. We're people. We can look up to not a home. So the Bible is this one. We are the voice of the children.
is a rebuke in the spirit. The Bible says, a broken and a contrite heart, the Lord will not despise. What is the contempt for him or to God? Talk to him right now. The Bible says, if we confess our sins and forsake them, we will have mercy. Let us pray. Yes, I spent in vanity and pride, caring not my Lord was crucified, knowing not it was for me, he died at Calvary. Mercy that was great and grace was Adam, thou was multiplied to me. Thou, my devil, so found me, but he has gone Oh, I love 